All right, everyone, welcome to the second session for the first week for our uh, Master of Software Testing. What I want to do, team, today is uh, primarily start with a few things that many participants have been asking over the last two to three weeks. Uh, as we were conducting the session, there were many participants who've been asking about the program, how it's going to work, what it's going to do, and so on. So what I'm trying to do first is I'm going to go through a few agenda items that I want to present and then get into more of the day two that I've been talking about. So here is what I will focus for the first few minutes of the session team. So what we're going to do is we will talk about something called as transformation in the sense what would happen typically at the end of the entire program. And then I'm going to talk about what kind of a challenge that you may have before getting into the session and during the session. I'm going to quickly talk about the journey itself and what kind of experiences the first batch had and a few most frequently asked questions and then we'll get into the day two overview. All right, so now what I'll do as always is I'm going to open up a blank Word document and I'm going to start typing all the notes that I've been mentioning into it. So uh, let's talk about transformation and uh, the whole purpose of this specific point team is what is it that you will expect to see at the end of this whole road? If you remember, uh, when we did that first session of non-IT to software testing, you remember I focused and I mentioned on what is it that you uh, need to do if you want to migrate or get into the software testing and QA jobs, correct? So if you go to the free events, you will find that under non-IT to software testing. Now, what I wanted to talk about here is how is it that most uh, will help you in achieving that. All right. What is it that is going to do uh, and give to you at the end? Primarily, team, you will get the skill. You will get the skill of what a QA engineer needs to have, okay, with two to three years of experience. That is what we're trying to concise and put together within this three to four, two to three months uh, program, right? That's the kind of thing that we're trying to get to. Next is we are trying to simulate to a large extent how your workplace will look and behave in the sense, if you get into a project, how is it going to work for you? How through the live projects that we will go through as part of the program? And I'll talk about that a little bit more during the journey. Three is you will get something which is very, very important. And this has happened to almost everyone who has attended the first batch of most. And in fact, uh, I would request Manoj and my team to uh, take the actual feedbacks, which we have not yet done, uh, because we, we have received so many calls, we've received so many feedbacks, we have never collected them together for most first batch. We will do that and share it with you is you will get that high level of confidence. And it is not confidence that, oh yeah, I know uh, A, I know B, I know C. It is overall that I am confident as a QA engineer. I am confident of the skills, of the tools, of what we have done on the projects that you've done, okay? Additionally, we can talk a lot about placements. And this is something that I'm doing significantly these days. Most of my time and effort is going through placements as part of QAonair.com, as part of Workasa Inc., where we are doing on-site placements and so on, as part of uh, Resume Guidance. We are doing many mock interviews. In fact, this morning we had about two mock interviews for the consultants who've done. And every week we continue to do this. And we are constantly doing job search for candidates. All right. So this is a big thing that would happen to you. Now, I will talk about the apprehensions or the fear or the kind of challenges that one would start with before the course and during the course. Okay, But you got to understand where you will end at the 
final okay will you get a job in hand immediately not necessarily few of the qa uh, members a few of the participants of most first batch have got jobs right at the beginning because they were continuously learning on it okay there were few members who got it midway and the few people who kept calling me even now saying that it has really helped them especially the live projects team what we are going to do is these live projects these live projects um, will be based on what you have learned and what you have done in fact one of the thoughts that i am getting right now is how much of documentation should we recreate since most one most batch one has done so much documentation should we go in a faster track and try and focus more on live projects and that i think is a significant experience that each of you will land in your hand now this is what i want you to get to this is what it's going to do to you overall apart from this what you would see is it is a constant learning in the sense all the most members get about 2 years or 3 years of access to all the courses that they get as part of this package correct so your manual testing database testing your mobile application testing with automation um, qtp selenium um jira bugzilla quality center all of this you get 3 year access to the content so what does that mean what that means is that as you continue to evolve as you continue to get into your jobs and change projects and so on you have the constant learning uh, on these new areas because i'm not expecting everyone to master all these things that i've mentioned in the first 3 months but you will get the platform to show that you have the skill get on to one area focus on it and then keep on gaining new areas as you grow in your career right now let's go back to the uh, uh, second point in the agenda the challenge so team in fact i want you to tell me over chat what have been the challenges for you not for the people who have not joined okay for the people who have already joined and also for in fact for the people who have not joined as well tell me what are the challenges that you think or what kind of apprehensions or fears you have about the program i want to be able to address them the reason is once you are in here you are part of a beautiful journey you will love it enjoy it every day all right the sessions may not happen every day but your interactions within your teams will happen so significantly every day that you will really enjoy all this that will happen all right so tell me what are the kind of challenges fears apprehensions that you had before you got in and what are there uh, that for the people also who have not yet gotten use the chat please let me know because i have a few in my mind i want you to uh, spell them out for me and then i can put it go on team i'm going to start putting it in here right duration right how long length of the course itself right then what happens if you get breaks there you go what happens when you get breaks in between how to manage when um on vacation or sick and so on right exactly what about if working full time how to manage that all right what else team not being able to get questions i think this is too basic we have gone much beyond this uh but i'm still going to put it here not being able to get answers of questions since online class and i don't think dimple you will see this as being such a program at all it's quite different from what you would experience why i'll tell you why you will be a part of a team a part of a team which will interact so much daily that you will get all your questions answered and that is why i have co trainers i have manoj supporting me plus you have all the trainers for every course present in the technical forum right lots of topics to cover all right there is lot of content to uh, cover in short time it's overwhelming there you go see this is absolutely the right point what else and i'm not disagreeing with you team i'm agreeing with you because it is you and you know it what's correct from your point what i am trying to do is make sure that everything is properly organized and you know exactly what's happening <coughs> cost of the course because 
some of you may not be able to afford a $1,400 fee right away um, at one stage. And I understand. I'm not saying no. I would think about it as well. Go on, team. What else? Anything else that I could address on that? Yep. <clears throat> Will we be able to master all topics? Is it sufficient to get a job and so on? So let me go on this team and look at what happens through it. I'm going to answer them uh, and then you can also put in additional questions that you have as I start to answer them. If you talk about something like the duration, length of the course, I understand. And in fact, there is, it's a, it's kind of a mixed scenario. One is we're saying that the duration is long. Second, we're saying that not enough time to cover so many topics, right? So there are two big challenges and together it's even more problem, right? The length of the course is long. I understand. Too. This two, three months is required for you to get to that level. That is required. Why? We will be doing many things. Too. In fact, one of the things that we'll do is you will do the first session or first phase okay, will be the basics of QA, Office, all right, HTML, SQL and so on and then you will have a project at the end of it then your second phase this time hopefully we will start with mobile application testing so we will talk about Android iOS a little bit of automation we will talk about um, some of these things and the second project on it and I'm talking gonna talk about how we're gonna improve uh, our efficiency for this batch. Third phase is we will talk about things like QTP and a project on it. All right. So finally, fourth phase will be your Selenium and a project on it. Right now, we are completing the QTP live project for the first most batch. And by the time we get to this, we will be restarting those same thing. The final one is your placement. And that placement itself team is a complete guided tour from the time how to build your resume to how to post, how to attend interviews, how to take calls, what to do, a complete program on it. All right. Now, this is the reason the course is long. Now, what happens team is since you have you can repeat the course anytime you want for example you join now you're not able to finish the beyond the second phase you have only done two phases fair enough what will that do in 20 days you have finished the first and second phase once you finish the first and second phase in 20 days you could put that in your profile as part of your capability and start getting into the market and see if you're getting opportunities why not right? You don't need to complete everything and get there. And that's what I'm telling you. You can get ready anytime after the second phase. All right. And start seeing it because by the time you complete the first project itself, your confidence level will increase so significantly high that you will start saying that I want to do it. In fact, ask any of the live project participants who've done the QTP or Selenium live project and the most uh, batch one members, and they will tell you that they if they have not yet placed, they would love to continue to work on any free project from uh, with us anytime. The reason is the exposure that they get, the reference that they get, and the kind of confidence and the learning they will get. And each, so for example, yesterday we had the QTP Live project and we had a presentation from them. And the way they presented, I am absolutely stunned at the level of details they're getting into. All right. Now, Having done all of this, it will take time. But you 
not everyone, I would say only about 60% will complete all the phases in one go. The remaining participants may give a gap and may have to come back later. That is number one. When you have, when you cannot spend at a stretch, like let's say you're going on vacation or so. However, or vacation, if it's a short vacation, it's not a big thing. However, if you are taking breaks, you're going on a long weekend and so on, don't worry about those. Why? Because there's so much that will happen within the team that you will love to come back and rejoin and see what's happening, guys. What did I miss when I was away and so on. All right. What about if you're working full time? I would not recommend thing. This is the only time I will say that not recommended. Okay. Take a specific course for this like QTP or Selenium and so on. Now, a lot of people working full time have still taken it because the package deal is much better. All right. That's how they felt because they still wanted QTP, Selenium, mobile application testing and they're getting many more things. The package deal is giving them a better deal overall. They've done it. However, for you to be involved with the team and work on the projects, it will pull you back. So that's why if you're working full time, do not try and, and go deeper into it. Or what you could do is you could join it and take it as a very, very easy thing right now. Um, just watch the videos, just attend, just participate as much as you can in some of the team things. And then when the second, third batch starts, that's when you can probably spend more time. That's an alternate as well, especially for people, non-QA uh, participants. What else? Not being able to get answers to questions since online class. This I've answered to you. Number one, it is not a spoon feeding session. All the training, all the content, all the things and support you need are there. You are the one who has to hand work hard. Okay. You are the one who's supposed to be interacting with your team. Any question you have within your team, you will get an answer or go to Google, you'll get an answer. Or we are there with the technical support and so on. So don't worry about this. This is the least of the problems that I see. Lots of topics to cover. Yes. But what I'm trying to say is I'm saying that these are hand-picked topics for the best career in QA. All right? So this is my feeling that these are the number one most important topics. All that you will get as part of uh, most. Second is don't master all. All right. Be good at at least two topics. All right. Not all the topics because you cannot. We cannot do it. However, as you do the projects, you will see that those specific areas. Now, what is more important is this guided tool that I'm going to provide you of what to do, how to do. All right. Will make it easy for you. That's the difference. Primarily, that's the difference. Where to do, what to do, how, when to do, how to do, how you're going to work on the projects, how you're going to implement all the simple knowledge that you're learning is going to make it. Additionally, we will leverage what we did with most one. What does that mean? If I go to the folder for the most one, you'll see that there is so much that they've done. Why should we reinvent the wheel? Why don't we go further and create something additional that even they could use, right? So let's focus more towards that. How do we do that? If I walk you quickly through most, and this is something that uh, date as part of day two, this is also the instruction, okay? Earlier, what I told as part of day one is that, guys, I've given you a schedule of things to watch, which we will go through once again, all right? And then as part of that, most two... Uh, where's most members? I think it is shared with me. Give me a second, please. Okay, it's not here right now with me, but I will share it with you. Team. Most two, at least. So, what I'm saying is the most members, what is there? All right, the summary docs that have been collected from all the sessions, let us focus on them. Let us use them and let us work with them instead of trying to recreate it. For example, we talk about Selenium and let's go to something like a keyword driven chapter four, video three, chapter four. OK, the entire document is here. As you watch the video, scan through it. You don't have to take the effort of recreating everything. Why? It will let you get the ability uh, to learn it more effectively quickly this will make our schedule go faster and we will be able to focus more towards the projects and rather than just towards creating the documents again 
Why am I saying this? Every team, each team created one set of documents for the first batch of most, right? So now with four or five batches uh, teams, we have so many documents and we've picked already the best out of them. So that is already there. Why don't we leverage from there and take it forward? So that's one leverage that we're talking about. So uh, utilize summary docs, okay? utilize what happened here Sorry. utilize summary docs and focus more on projects now all right so use that as a reference and focus more on projects however presentations must be done all right so what am i saying each team has to present still they have to go through it and they have to find out what is there in that and present the only disadvantage team is that many members will feel that hey uh, having actually written those documents is helping them so not writing it not being able to apply it then will become a problem for them and that will be a challenge team all right okay so that's the other question what else there's a lot of content to cover it's overwhelming i believe i've answered this don't assume that you will finish everything in three months number one that you will master everything. You will be focusing on two or three things that you will really take well and master. Each live project will seal the deal for everyone. That's the whole point. Partic go through the session that we are telling, participate in the live project, that will set you. Okay? Now, second thing is that the ability of you will significantly increase with any two phases. Take QTP and Selenium or mobile application testing and Selenium or QTP and QA anything combinations of two and implement that in your resume and start hunting for jobs right in the middle of it don't have to wait for three months you could absolutely start within the first 20 to 30 days to get your resume ready and start putting in the job boards okay what else we will be able to mass will we be able to master all the topics i've answered is it sufficient to get a job absolutely yes absolutely yes it may not make you completely ready but the final the placement will do all right so we are actively working on placements team okay so there is a complete focus on qa on air placements um, what we are doing how we are doing where are the active candidates active clients what are the active jobs that we currently have all the resume database the dummy resumes that people are using as good templates to show how they can use their uh, skills and provide that and so on okay so that focus is the main area and in fact team the reason, the, one of the primary reasons I'm hurrying up into the batch, the second part of most is, I believe what the most is doing to candidates is a beautiful skill development, people development that can help significantly for QA on air and Workasa. So the focus that I'm saying on QA on air Workasa, it is feeding the right talent it, into it. That will help me market in this new um, visions that I have in this new um, focus areas that i'm trying to get into all right so that is the primary reason i am asking you to go through these challenges think about it and how you need to do remember the transformation that it's going to bring and to look at the challenge that it's going to um, address now from a journey perspective very simple team this is what i said all right this is the journey okay we will be dividing this all of this into 10 to 12 weeks and you can think about each phase being about two weeks okay two to three weeks we will try and work towards it. Sometimes we may get a gap in between and so on. For example, there may be spring break, mid of April for many schools, right? So we will try and go lean at that time. We will not focus too much. Or there may be national holidays sometime down. But let's try and go through that structure and make sure that we um, go through it. Manoj, quick thing, please. Oh, Manoj is offline. Um, I think his internet is acting weird. Where is the duration so that I can get into... Um, I think I've answered some of the questions also and I can get into the day two overview now quickly. Any other questions that I've not answered, please let me see. Uh, SQL is very interesting, but can I cover in a week? Uh, absolutely. As SQL, you can cover in two days. You don't even need, need one week for it. Okay. Can we do Selenium later? And what's the frequency of next live sessions? So every three to four months, it's going to start. So Selenium also will start in about three to four months and so on. Uh, downloading the platforms to practice will be a challenge sometimes, especially like QTP and QC. 
Rama, I don't know about you, but all the team members are doing it. They have to install the trial versions to practice and sometimes they need a little bit more time and they're doing it. So you just have to go with the team. How about a developer switch to tester? Is it that difficult to switch? I wouldn't say difficult to switch. It doesn't matter if you're a developer or a BA or anyone because you already know how the IT industry works, how the entire process works, application, people, technologies, and so on. It will be easier, in fact, for you to switch. And in fact, it may give you an edge because you have a development mentality. So you know how developers do. So go back, going back to test it is an advantage for you. However, uh, proper guidance on how you can do it may help. In fact, if I were you, Sasmita, I may basically take either a QTP, Selenium or mobile application testing as one course and go for it instead of taking the entire Q, uh, most uh, into it. Uh, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Can we get remote job in QA testing? So, Ravneet, here is my thing about remote jobs. The reason I have not yet gone actively to the clients and said, okay, I have good people to start working is I want to make sure that the model overall is going to sustain the client expectations. And that's a big thing. Okay. I'm absolutely confident about it. There is no question about that. It, it will do it or not. Will it be only 20 people or will it be 200 people as consultants? Will it uh, start giving the first revenue for all of us today or will it take six months is the only question. All right. Now, as part of QA on Air, one of the biggest expectations is the skill. And I want to hand pick the people we are going to place in it. And that is the beauty of it. I am not telling that QA on Air is a platform for everyone. No, it's only for the top QA professionals. I am building the platform to bring and create those professionals. And what I can say confidently is, in fact, I it's a very clear thing. I know the top performers, there are about 10 to 15 in most one batch, are automatically part of that list. And they will be the first preferred. Why? Because what they've done, what kind of a work they've shown and so on. And I'm sure the first batch of most itself will give another 15, 20 later. So there are possibilities. There's absolutely the scope. That's the intent of QA on it. And Q, uh, most is a breeding ground to create the right talent for it. That's what I want to say. Uh, will software work with my Windows 7? Simple. Be, go beyond it, please. Not, not, not no specific questions because um, Windows 7 is a little old, but you can still do it. Will you connect weak tests and presentations? Tests and presentations will happen. Okay. Presentations you will do, tests we will conduct, and we will assess how you are doing. All the tests are already there. They are uh, there with Manoj. Uh, he conducts the session, uh, tests after the live projects every uh, every time. Manoj, um, uh, one question I wanted to ask is, where is the most two members old I have? I don't have the new one. So the learning schedule that I'm showing up right now is the old one. I just want to check. Uh, there were a few delays because a few members are, were still um, late to enter and so on, right? Um, so the dates are a little backwards in... right now. What we focused for the first week was manual testing in MS Office plus HTML. I know we are more towards here right now and we need to push the dates a little forward. Okay. Now, uh, the re one of the other reasons is because the team divisions and all that was still happening. All right. And people expected today to be a free session for some members who could not join earlier. So that's the reason all of this got delayed team. So I apologize to the participants who are already there that it got delayed. But let me ask you this question. Uh, for From the people who have attended the day one, how many of you have gone through in the structured manner of what I've explained in day one? of the topics to cover as videos so that we can then get into the live project. So what am I trying to do here? So I'm trying to introduce projects everywhere. So here there will be first project. Okay. So the schedule will be coming up to you fresh tomorrow with the project. Okay. This is going to be a live project. Here project one and each project will be between one to two weeks and we'll have to quickly finish projects so that we could implement it and go move on. Okay. So there will be different projects that will go on in each section. Live project two here. Any questions while I'm putting this up, please feel free to use the chat. Manoj, you there? I got it. Oops, sorry. If you're there, I could not hear. 
sorry manoj yeah hi karthik um, hi thing were you speaking earlier that i missed you speaking uh not uh, actually uh, uh, i was telling this um, uh, for, uh, this uh, learning schedule was in that folder one in the most members too unfortunately see most to members only remember i got confused all the members are there in the different folder and i created something else remember that so can you share that most to new folder with me please i don't believe okay. i have that uh, yeah, okay. but we can do it later do that. also that's fine okay all right uh so where is it okay learning schedule so this schedule team manoj you and i we need to sit on it once again clean it up and then do it i shot 16 and half weeks because it also included some um uh, okay see so actually if you look at it already the inclusion is there for the live projects on qy qtp and selenium we added 5 weeks into it so this was already included but it was not divided where and when when we get team name so manoj i think uh, that's one thing you and i will talk today uh, and we will start doing the team division and the schedule will we be doing the project as a team or individually you will be doing the projects as a team team small teams 3 to 4 people each okay you will be working creating all the things and doing the project and the project is going to be beautiful team i just love the way these projects are being done for example the qtp live project that's going on right now is coming along so well that i can't say so there are about 50 55 participants in that project uh, different teams and if you go to each team you will see what they are doing there are levels of automation that we are doing okay some with basic things like actions and shared object repositories now test level automation too uh, they are doing something much more deeper they are getting into creating a data driven framework uh, with descriptive programming error handling functions libraries and all of this and all of this they're going to do it within a week's time okay so one this is level to one project itself and uh, this are in fact uh, some of the comments that uh, the members were giving as part of the live project i wanted to uh, copy them and address them so if you look at it lot of involvement very very uh, uh, you know eventful they are extremely uh, satisfied with what it is doing to themselves and so on all right yes it also gets very stressful for them because everybody is busy and they are trying to organize they face challenges uh, when someone else is missing in the team um, members are not attending and so on and what happens is the good participants get more burdens at sometimes okay and that is good because you are getting used to the real life that's exactly what happens even in real life project and that's what i meant by recreating the how the real life project works you will see that happening very often you will join a project with five people and then suddenly you will see the two people i have fallen sick one has resigned the replacement will come in two months and so on it's very common problems that you face in real world are being expo- uh, are being seen and um, felt by the project participants so again each of these are for the project so as you get there we will do it and manoj did you hear the point where i said we will try and recreate this um, most documentation that is there the best of it i think i missed that okay yeah so you, you was uh, connection was going on and off so what i was saying is the documentation that the first batch of most did was a very very good documentation correct so if that was the level of documentation why do we need to recreate that documentation again what i was suggesting is why don't we use that documentation and let them focus on more on live projects and more towards uh, learning from using those documents for learning we have anyway identified the best documents out of those sets now they could use that as a leverage for more for the projects rather than focusing just on recreating the documents because document creation was time consuming but they will still do the presentations so that's what i put here leverage what we did with most one utilize summary docs and focus more pro- on projects however presentations must be done so everyone must do the presentations because it gives them the ability and i'll tell you why the presentations team and everyone needs to present not only one member every week and so on everyone needs to present i'll tell you why what are you doing when you're doing presentation number one you are improving your skill of 
uh, speaking, your communications and so on. Second, your ability to talk about the project. Why? Because third is when you get to the interview level, you show this live projects in your uh, profile, right? And if these live projects, if these real projects, you talk about it exactly that way and you've practiced on it so many times by speaking and seeing others speaking, you will automatically get through that interview with very, very good results. Why? Because you've been doing the same thing. It's your strength. And so that's your interview preparation. And it's a big, big winner. All right. Can you please share most one summary documents? Yes. So um, uh, I think what we need to do is most two members should have access to most one. And in fact, most members should have access to all, almost all the documentation for most. There is no uh, need for us not to uh, do it for the others. So we can do that also, uh, Manoj. Uh, and I think you and I, we need to touch base on a few of these after this call. Okay, what else, team? So I think, so what happening as part of day two is little change in the schedule. Very, very few. Not that new topics are being added. But instead of starting the live projects way at the end, I want to be able to do the live projects right in between. So finish phase one, do a live project. Then phase two, live project. Phase three, live project and so on. That way, even if you are in, unable to finish the complete uh, thing, finish two phases, you get a great amount of content, knowledge and confidence for your um, uh, jobs. How frequent can we can have tests and assessments with the projects? As you do the project, we will have a test. And test is very simple, team. It's not a big thing. It is just for you to know that when it comes to specifically tests, you need to do a little bit more preparation. Because even for me or Manoj, if someone asks us to take tests right away, we may not do that well. But if we get more prepared and then go there, then it will help. Okay. Team, very simple. Learn some from the videos. Some we will do as tutorial, uh, live uh, trainings. Okay. Then... Watch the summary documents that the most first batch has created. Okay. Prepare for your presentation. See the kind of presentations that the most batch have done, first batch have done. So you can go in the similar manner and do it. And then as the presentations happen, we will give you light feedback on what you have done well, what you have not and so on. In fact, you will have access to those videos. You can start watching some of those presentations that the teams have done. Okay. Okay. Um, then after we have done that, we will get into a live project, which is a real life project, which you can take and put on your resume. After you're done with the project, we will do a simple test for each phase and then move on to the next one. Okay. So once we break it into these sections, about five phases that I'm talking about, it will be easy for you to digest as well. Can we share the summary documents, what we have prepared with whom? You can share it with the most members, right? So if once you keep it in the common folder, it will be shared with everyone. And guys, one caution, please, to everyone. Do not delete anything from the folders because these are common to all. Okay. Any changes that you make will affect everyone. In fact, we also know who has done what changes where and so on. That tracking we have. And we could also do some recovery. But I would strongly suggest and recommend, please do not do that. Do we will get any certificate after completion? Yes. Uh, all the most participants get my personally signed certificates for course completion. There are few of them who have done exceptionally well. They will be part of my QA on air networks and they will also get special certificates from me. Uh, again, I get another simple question. How do I catch up if I missed class one? If you miss any class, don't even ask me. Go to the most page. All the videos will be there. You can catch it up from there. Second, you can catch up the videos from that sec that page and your team is there, right? You will call your team member and say, guys, what happened yesterday? I missed the class. How do, what should I do? They will tell you, first go watch the video, whatever you missed and we, we and watch, look at the uh, summary documents of what we did, minutes of meeting and come back to the next um, team meeting. You'll be well prepared. All right. And because that's normal, that's what you'll face in even in live projects, real life projects. All right, team, I'm good for now. Any other questions? Um, Manoj, anything else that we supposed to be doing today? What are your past credentials? Just curious. If I have to say, I'll say very good because I know what my team members have said. I don't know even of a single person who has not been happy with any of our live projects or most. 
I know there have been delays in some of the content. For example, mobile application testing. I had issues with submitting some videos on time. Okay. Or the delays on schedule. Sometimes the schedule of the class may change little uh, without too much notice. Okay. Because of the way we all work in a dynamic environment. Those things I know people. Otherwise, I we IT Elan is only popular because of the fact of word of mouth. If you look at a team, we have not a single advertisement anywhere. Nowhere. Okay. We have no sales, no marketing. In fact, except for master of software testing, we also don't do any telephone calls. Why? Because um, master software testing needed some personal uh, uh, touch. They wanted to talk. They wanted to ask specific questions because it's a big decision for them. That is the reason we took the effort. And we are so excited to do these things. All right. Rajesh, if you're new to the class, start a little bit uh, from the beginning, please. Where is that link to the page? Uh, live trainings. Most to live batch. There you go. See? At the top. I'm going to put it here. Okay. Start here. There is an orientation video. Then uh, you have the most batch one training videos here. Most course content is here. Day one, which happened last week, is here. Day two will also come here. Okay, day three onwards will be all uh, paid. So if you go to most batch one training videos, this is uh, one big mega page. Okay, this has got so many things in here that it will take time for you to go through. Okay, orientation, most week one, what we did, week two, what we did, week three, what we did, and so on. Every week, okay, quality center, then QTP bytes. Okay, all these videos we have done as part of the first most batch. And then team presentations, beautiful presentations. So if you open up any team presentation and go through it. Oh, it's protected. I don't have access to it myself, I guess. I need to log in. There you go. Uh, I'm going to put this link here. You will find it there also. Uh, Rick, I request a call from you a few times. Never happened. Sorry, Mohammed, if it's not happened. But were you not there in the... Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I am so sorry, Mohammed. Give me your number again uh, over chat. I'm going to put it and I'm going to dial you right after this before I talk to anyone else. Uh, how to access all those documents? You will get those access documents, Shafiq. Thank you for agreeing with what you're saying. And here you go. So where, where is where am I? Most... Master of Software Testing. Most, 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 most. Most live session. There you go. This is most batch one. Right? Yes. I'm taking a number. All right. Will we get a new schedule? It will be emailed to you because I just want to make sure that me and Manoj are in sync on it and we are spending time on it. So if you go to any of these sessions, I want you to look at any anyone. Okay, doesn't matter which video. Um, what, how the teams have been presenting. Okay, so each day you will see different teams, different members presenting, and um, they will go through. Uh, Hello everyone, to welcome to this uh, session so, seven. Can you hear the audio as well? For that. Uh, Manoj makes one of the participants presenters. So team, so I know. Validation part and then uh, for clients part. So here is where. So we are not uh, uh, covering every test case. We are just uh, written every uh, test case in a single class. Uh, yes. Okay, so these are the presentations of the teams too okay how they go about as they execute things how they work on it okay this will give you a lot of confidence team this is the most important one what else did i want to say um someone asked me a question somewhere and then Uh, to, 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 to. So we have already submitted a summary doc. Can we have comments on that case if you have time? Oh, very nice, Sarva. If you've completed it for um, your things. Okay, very good. How to access all these documents? I think that's good. Any other questions, team? Are we good then? How many of you are repeating from most one? 
Can you just say me, 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 me? I'm sure there are at least three or four members because you could not continue there. Okay, there you go. One, John. Only one participant repeating from most one. I think there are a few more. I'm not sure I'm not getting it right now. All right, team. I'm good. Manoj, anything else then? No, Kathy. Uh, one thing fit. I I have shared uh, uh, summary docs from the first batch uh, to all the members in the most two, so yeah. you can access those documents. All summary docs, right? This one. This is only. Ah uh, no, Karthik. I will I have only shared one team documents. I think team synergy. So synergy team. They can right. access. Yeah, but don't delete or don't do anything in this folder. Okay. Okay, all right. All right, thanks, Manoj. So, Manoj, you and I will talk. I have to call Mohammed first because I promised to call him, and uh, then uh, let's go uh, with others. Sure, thank you. All right, thank you, everyone. Bye for now. We will come back to you with the schedule. What you're going to be doing next? Your teams and so on. You'll hear from us on this tomorrow. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Have a good evening um, or good morning, depending on where you are. Take care. Talk to you later. Thanks all. Bye.